Amira. I'm Freya. I'm Maha. And we're, we're from DC. How can we separate and identify the compounds within plants? We have three substances, two types of flowers and one type of leaf. The equipment we will be using will include a capillary tube, pipette, chromatography and filter paper, propanone, pestle mortar and a beaker. Step 1. We will tear the plants into small pieces to grind and place in the mortar. Step 2. We will add equal amounts of propanone to help grind it easily. Step 3. We will grind the substances using a pestle and mortar in order to extract the pigment. Step 4. We will draw the baseline using the pencil so it won't smudge 2 cm above the solvent to ensure it doesn't dissolve in the propanone. Then use the capillary tube to extract the pigment from the substances and then place concentrated but equal drops onto the pencil baseline to ensure it is a fair test. Once dry, we will label the three substances A, B and C. Then we will place the chromatography paper approximately on the surface of the propanone, which is 50 cm cubed. Then the solvent will travel up the paper, carrying the pigment with it. Once it is dry, we will draw the solvent front, which is the length from the baseline to the distance that the solvent has travelled. In this case, the propanone has travelled 2.3 cm. Then we will measure the length that the pigment has travelled. Now that we have these two factors, we can measure the RF value, which is the distance travelled by the solute, divided by the distance travelled by the solvent. A has an RF value of 1.2 over 2.3, which equals 0.52. B has an RF value of 1.5 over 2.3, which equals 0.65. C has an RF value of 1.9 divided by 2.3, which is 0.83. Then we will compare it to a standard RF chart, where we will find the compounds with the closest RF values to ours. Plant A has the compound fucoxanthine, plant B has the compound chlorophyll A, and plant C has the compound keratin. In conclusion, we were able to identify the compounds using chromatography and the retention factor formula. Chromatography and the retention factor can be used to identify dangerous substances in the human body and once identified, cures can be innovated to neutralize these compounds.